Hey, 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 Truck and Beauty coming to you with another video. Let me please apologize, y'all. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a video, but it kind of really hasn't. It just feel like it. Um, I've been exhausted, like completely exhausted. Throwing freight and running these mouths is catching up to me. And I have been knocked out as much as I possibly can. It's hard to sleep and in the truck it's definitely hard to sleep in this truck and this is truck is just not my truck home it's not cozy the way i want it to none of the above nothing so it's tough um today's video we're gonna dedicate this to my subscriber jennifer hunter Woo, go jennifer <laughs> jennifer comes from massachusetts and she says my name is Jennifer. I was wondering if you could leave some helpful tips. I'm trying to get my CDL license. Be a school bus driver here in Massachusetts. I'm sorry if, the ish, if we're shaking some. I'm getting loaded right now. So, yeah. Um, Jennifer, I'm from Georgia. And what I would say for you and for everyone else who asked me, um, Georgia is a little bit different because I think Georgia and one other state are only states that actually still give out manuals, like handheld hand manuals that you can flip through like a magazine and actually read everything about the CDLs. But I didn't find out about this until after I went to truck driving school. There is an app. It's called DMV Genie. Let me show my phone. This is it right here, the red one. DMV Genie. You go to DMV Genie. I don't know what your state regulations may be or what anyone's state regulations may be. Um, it's different in all 50 states slightly. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. But go to DMV Genie. And I have it elected. This is it. I have elected for the state of Georgia. And in Georgia, it's a study, guys. General knowledge. And it'll give you questions to general knowledge. Um, you click it. It'll give you the right answer and the wrong answer. Let me close that so you can see. It gives you the right answer and the wrong answer. It explains to you why. And that box that popped up was another box explaining to you why. Then it gives you tip hints. You can go on to the next question. So let me get a little closer and try to get that glare off. So they, it asks you a question. You click an answer. Whether it's right or wrong, it gives you the right one, the wrong one. And it tells you uh, here's why. And it explains to you why. I'll be honest with you. Get this app. Go over the questions and the answers. Memorize the answers and it'll start clicking to you. Like you might not understand like air brakes and stuff like that. Like how air brakes work. Like what's what's what it is. Like I didn't understand it at first. When I finally started doing it, it started clicking. Like I got it. Um, this is good not just for the basic general knowledge, but it's general knowledge, general knowledge exam, hazmat test, hazmat exam, school bus exam is on here. And you can start that and the same thing apply. Click an answer and it gives you the right one. Or the wrong one if you click the wrong one. And you go through it like that. There's different pages. So page two has passenger vehicle exam, air brake test, air brake exam, combination vehicle exam. Um, yeah, page three has tanker, pre-trip inspection, and your challenge bank. So your challenge bank is like all the questions that you miss that you want to go back and study over it goes in your challenge bank if you like to put it in there so then after you're you're going through your test your exam and you're getting most of them right but you have something you need to work on put in your challenge bank you can go back over your challenge bank and do it that way this app is pretty cool um after i got my cdls after i got my permit and got my cdls this helped me get my tanker and my hazmat so yeah that's pretty darn cool um has been it's a little tough a little tough general knowledge i passed the first time in georgia general knowledge is um 50 questions and usually most states people don't know but all you do is study for it and it's a it's just like any other license like motorcycles like cars like anything else you study for it you take a written test this will prepare you for the written test so study, 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 take the written test. After you take the written test, you can get your permit. And after you get your permit, comes finding out where you want to go to get your 
license. I suggest to everyone, get your permit before you go to school to get your license. Like, some people don't do that, and then they go to truck driving school, and when you get to truck driving school, you have a limited amount of time to get your license before you get kicked out of class because the class will progress and will not wait for you. So I suggest everyone, get your your permit first before you go to truck driving school. Where I went to school at, you had two weeks. And if you didn't make it the first week, you were honestly already left behind. Because the class goes on and you have to repeat that next week. Um, a lot of companies will send you to school for free in exchange you drive for them for X amount of time to get your CDLs. Now, where I used to live, for school bus drivers, what happened was the school needed to hire bus drivers. And so what they did was they they set this class up to go over everything for the CDLs, the exams with you. And I don't know if it's like that in your area. It just happened to be at one point, that's how it was in my area. So they go over everything with you for your CDLs and they send you down to the DMV to take your test. And after you take your test, then they had it set up where you can, you know, get in buses and drive the buses for your practical exam. They didn't teach you how to do it. It's just, we'll help you with the permit test. And I think a permit test, then you can do that. If you get a class A CDL to drive 18 wheeler, you can drive anything. Anything. There's nothing that you can't drive because there's nothing smaller than this. Um, my granny has driven the bus for, Lord almost 40 years if not more yeah he drove for 33 years and he he, re, he retired for three months because he got mad that they were furloughing <laughs> so he had worked all these days of work and they took out of his check went back you know back in what 2000 i don't know i don't want to say 2009 eight something like that when when people got furloughed so he retired for three months and he went back and He's been driving bus, buses ever since we were little, like before we were little. I think all my aunts and uncles rode his bus. My brother and myself rode his bus. Like it was just, everyone knew Mr. Blunt. A lot of kids would move, like a lot of parents would move their kids in the neighborhoods that he rode his bus through just so he could ride, they could ride his bus. Um, he didn't play no games. It was yes, sir, no, sir. No talking on a bus, no pills on a bus, no chewing gum on a bus, but I mean, it was just a respect thing. I think Mr. Blunt, granddaddy, he got the most Christmas gifts, Valentine's gifts, New Year's gifts. Mr. Blunt, look what I, I made at school. Everything. I mean, he didn't play no games with nobody, but right is right and wrong is wrong. And he would call it out. Now, I will say this. Being that my granddaddy has drawn the bus for all these years, he has dealt with a lot. And one of the things that recently he has dealt with is bad children you got good ones you got bad ones good apples bad apples um there was one boy he threw a, a pick a hair pick like when a metal hair picks he threw the pick at him it didn't hit him he didn't know until after reviewing the cameras the other kids reactions kind of gave it away and reviewing the cameras they found out about it of course that kid don't ride a bus no more or no buses at that but still you have good apples and bad apples i mean that's just a thing you have to deal with with driving school buses driving trucks you don't have to do it anybody if you don't want to <laughs> so that's the good and the bad everyone loves our children in america no one wants anything to happen to them and when you have bad kids on the bus it just makes it difficult to pay attention to the road and to the kids but that's my um tip and advice go down to your local dmv see what they require for you to get your cdl permit and usually they're going to say you have to take the test. Money is usually involved. Nothing's free, right? So in the state of Georgia, you pay $50 for your test, initial test. And then you can take all three parts. $50, 55 something like that. You take all three parts. And then if you fell apart, you can retake it in two days. Two days. Every two days you can retake whatever part you miss or all if you miss it. Um, there's three parts. It's general knowledge, air brakes, and combination vehicles. So... I will say it can be a little frustrating do not get frustrated continue no matter how many times you fail or may fail if you get it the first time congratulations just don't give up on yourself is what you want to do do it all right check with your local DMV take the permit test get a permit and then after that find out where you want to get your license any more questions let me know this video is for Jennifer and everyone like Jennifer with all the 
questions about how to get your CDLs. I hope this is helpful. Holla!